Hi there, everyone. This is Mailman Zero, and I have to admit I'm a little bit embarrassed. Um, see, I, I got everything set up here. I selected internal microphone, and I started up ZSNES, and I loaded up Snow White, and Snow White opens, and then I forgot how to load a save state with my controller, so I had to do it manually, so I open it like that and now we're ready to play of course the problem is I forgot to change the recording input on my screen capture software so you're going to get my commentary after the fact which is never as good so we'll see how this goes so uh, here we go we're, we're in this new land with uh, some kind of waterfall is going on all the time, and um, that's me completely missing that I can use that to uh, warp into other places. There's this ugly, ugly baby thing. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Stupid things jumping out of nowhere when you try to jump, hit your head on them. Um, at least these are easier to see than clouds, though. I like that idea. Here, try to jump and get them all, but I don't. the warp again. Uh, so now uh, we see that there are places that can fall down. And, uh, also notice that we're down to six hearts, so that's exciting. Uh, six hearts is not a lot. And now we're down to five. So uh, I shoot this guy. And... Oh, no, I don't shoot any guy. I think that guy's going to try to hit us, so let's throw these and get that. Oh, here's where I discover, if you push the up arrow while you throw, you can throw farther. So, there's actually three different distances. You can throw the duck, you can throw a short one. If you throw a regular, you can throw you know, a medium one. If you hold the up button, then it'll throw far. Um, down to six again. I guess we got some parts somewhere along the line. I'm kind of surprised how long you flash and stay invincible. It's not standard, I don't think. Here, this looks like a Sonic the Hedgehog place where you're supposed to kind of run and duck or something, but running and ducking just makes you stop running, so it doesn't really work. But it looks like it was made for Sonic. Maybe they were originally going to have some sort of extra high-speed princess I don't even know. Is she a princess? I don't think Snow White was a princess. Um, I guess maybe eventually she becomes one. Doesn't she have a handsome prince come and wake her from her sleep or something? Um, yeah. Also, I'm not really sure at this point in the game, uh, at this point in the Snow White story, what's the point? I mean, am I supposed to be finding, like, um, I don't know, some seven dwarves along the way? Maybe. Oh, good. Find the exit. Find the egg that's good. Of course, we also have the... Find the... Bridge that we're hitting our head on against. But at least we got some bonuses out of it. Oh, look, more bridge building. But it's not really bridge building because there's nothing above that. It's the top of the map, so it's just ceiling building at this point. Jump around for a while for no good reason. Can't figure out what I'm supposed to do. That, that's my head. Um, I think at this point in the original recording, uh, someone started making noise, so I was talking or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah. This looks pretty dumb when I look back on it. I don't know what I think I was doing here. Oh, I remember now. I was trying to go in there, but I couldn't remember how. I'm pushing down, I'm pushing up, I'm pushing all these different things. It's been so long since I played it that I couldn't remember that all I have to do is hit the Y button and I can go in. So I uh, throw stuff, push a bunch of buttons, left and right, whatever, run away. Oh, this cool ghost guy. This is like a Disney-style ghost right here. There's a 
another one. I'm like, hey, how come I can't go in that one either? This doesn't make any sense. Let's throw some stuff. Oh, look! If I hit the Y button, I can go in and see my explosion that came afterwards. So now we can finally go in this one and see what's here. And of course, it puts us with a disembodied flower. I mean, those are like lion flowers, they're not sunflowers. But you know, we can walk back and forth a lot and fail. Get more dead babies. That's always good. It is good when they have wings on their back like that and they, they're drawn so. Oh no. Look, it's the first game over. Now we get to find out what happens when you have a game over. And we get a chance to continue. Do we want to continue? Of course we do. And it finally loads. So, here we go! And now, they did some sort of jump thing that I couldn't replicate, but I'm gonna try, and it doesn't do anything. Notice we have uh, 46, now 47 hearts, which is not too bad, but you know, they go down pretty quickly when you keep getting hit as much as I do. goes before we can do any sort of uh, warping or transporting. Don't know why, but you know, it's a good idea to always kill the ghosts. You never know when the ghost is going to come and back to haunt you. So, uh, yeah. Lots of throwing apples at the edge of things, not having them go through. Losing the fruit that we get. I don't really know uh, where the exit is, but I have to get the okay that I can go back to the exit again because I died. Things like a spread shot from uh, Contra. And it doesn't stop. Like, it looks like it's dissipating, and it does a little bit, but that thing will hit you from across the room across the screen, across whatever. And... We're looking around, trying to figure out what to do now. See, now, there. Just follow that down to safety, right? Of course. It leads you to a pit. It's like the people that made this game are just evil. Stupid baby with wings. And... More spread shot. Flagpoles, that's good. I like the flagpoles. Oh, we got a bonus. It's still not enough to find the exit. So we get this ring of coins that is there for no reason. Now look at that, we got some hearts. And in trying to get those hearts, let's see how many hearts we can lose. We've lost one so far. No, I guess we're not going for those hearts. We'll just, you know, take this for no reason. Now we can see the connection there. There's a heart for some reason in the middle of the cavern, or the cave wall, or whatever that is. See, this is great. Anytime you can get extra hearts is a good thing. And we can find the exit, but then we covered it up because we got a box. But at least we know we can find the exit now and we didn't miss the message. So from here on out, it's just a search for the exit. Of course, who knows where that's going to be.
Oh, see that arrow? It looked like everything was gonna be fine, but again, it was like, fall down on this specific point, or else you die. Okay, so here maybe is where we're gonna try. Nope, we're gonna ignore them again. So let's run off of here. So we've got a good way to, to get across the map quickly. It's generally a safe bet to follow the waterfalls down, but not in that case. And uh, at this point is when I start flailing about, wondering where everything is. I got one of those hearts. Maybe now's the time to try to get the rest? Nope. We're still not going to try to get the rest of the hearts. But I learned I can run and jump here, so that's good, I guess. Assuming that this is the right way to go. And behind here, we never tried to go behind there before. And we find a bunch of bonus and then fall. And then the ground falls out from under us twice. And we almost got a bonus, but we didn't because we already had a thing. What a shame. What a shame. Apples are running out, because we keep throwing them at things that don't do anything. And I could not move when I stood on that. That was just ridiculous. It's like I landed on the lily pad, and then my feet were stuck like glue. So let's try to get back to that lily pad, and see what's the deal with that. Am I supposed to go on them or not? Do they stop me from moving? I, I don't get it. Someone's playing the piano again. My wife right now, she's got some girls from church. She's kind of in charge of the 12 and 13 year old class. And they're over right now. It's kind of supposed to be over, but I guess there's still some people here. So, you know, it gives us an opportunity to run and jump again for no reason. One thing down in there, maybe two, don't know why. I guess we missed them the first time. So here we're trying to figure out what to do. Should we go down? Should we go down again? Should we try to get these? Yeah, why not? Everything looks safe, at least there's a place to stand. So we're on the lily pad and now we can move. Amazing! We did all of that so we could get to that down arrow one more time. Come on, down arrow. And we landed on it. And that's just a regular old lily pad. And now we're dead, because I jumped at the exact wrong time. There's like a, a quarter of a second or less window that you can fall down when you're on those lily pads. And I just happened to jump at the right time to, to hit it exactly right. So, uh, I don't know, should I keep going the same place again? I mean, is it even going to take us anywhere? Is there anything down there? Like, it doesn't look to me like it's leading anywhere, but at this point, I don't have any better ideas, so just keep trying to do the same thing. Kill the butterfly baby along the way. Nothing down there. And the ground falls out from under us and we lose it again. At least when you die, you really don't die, you just lose one heart, which is great. I mean, it gives you a lot of tries in this game. You know, pits aren't like other games. And you don't really have no a number of lives. I mean, you, all of your lives are those hearts. So, right now you can say we have 39 lives and everything is a one hit kill. Including falling in a pit. So from that perspective, it's kind of an interesting mechanic the way they've chosen to do this. And I'll just uh, commit suicide. Twice. Three times. So, here I noticed there's a huge treasure trove of stuff. Maybe we should try to get it. Or just die. Maybe we could try now to get it. Or die again. And we magically made a long jump onto there, and we got a ton of extra hearts, and then we lost one. So 
So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna try to get a bunch more items here. Come on, items. Come on, falling, because I pushed the button to it. Come on, I can't make this jump. I know I can. Do a long running jump and, oh, a piece of cake. How many more times do you have to watch this? At least one more time, I'll tell you that. Maybe two more times. So, can't go any higher than the top of the screen, it doesn't keep going higher, so... That was a pretty good one. I think it's time to move on. If we can make this jump onto this sunflower. sunflower, that's good. So we go up here, we've obviously been here before because there's a flag. This is where we warped in a long time ago, right? So we've been here before. But I see there's a bunch of items, so why not go and get these items instead of making progress? So yeah, I got some items, almost died along the way because the ground fell out from under us hit our head on a thing and almost fall in a pit, but instead there's the exit. So, yeah. I'll try not to do that next time, but thanks for watching. Uh, next time it'll be uh, live commentary, hopefully, and it won't be as bad as this. So, join me next time. Bye.